stop y'all bring guys another video so um yeah apparently Jamal Charlo got arrested for a uh, robbery at least the charge was a, a felony robbery um yeah if you guys know who Jamal Charlo is he is the middleweight out of the twins uh the undefeated one the bigger guy 32 and 0 22 wins come by way of Nakar Tikio, the WBC champion. Um, not to mix him around or not to uh, mistake him as the younger, or not the younger, the, the smaller uh, Charlo, uh, Jermel Charlo, who fights at 154, who uh, recently got a draw uh, with Castaño. Anyway, uh, there were reports that uh, Charlo, Jermel Charlo, got arrested. Uh, there's some articles out there if you want to read it. Here's one article right here for you guys. Um, so you guys can tell by the headline. World champion boxer facing felony robbery charges in San Antonio. Faces three counts of felony robbery. When I first heard about this, I was like, a robbery? The dude's rich. What does he need to rob somebody for? But apparently the story is uh, they got a call at the bar and social club um, at, at around 2 in the morning and uh, apparently Charlo had assaulted a waiter and taken off with her tips <laughs> according to the uh, report the uh, San Antonio Police Department incident report and um, let me just read for you guys word for word it says right here the incident happened after a credit card Charlo attempted to use to pay his tab was repeatedly declined, the report states. After Charlo accused the waiter of trying to steal his credit card, Charlo grabbed two black wa waiter books, removing his identification from one and cash from another, according to a warrant for his arrest. So, um, so yeah, so I guess, uh, yeah, grabbing that cash, that's not good. Even if you tip, like, I think the moment you give somebody a tip, that the person you're giving the tip to, I think that's their money. And if you grab it back, I think that would be considered stealing. Or, you know, if you do use force, it can be used, it can be uh, considered robbery. Um, yeah, and it reads here, Charlo and members of his group then pushed their way out of the building and left the location. You know, limousine bus, according to the warrant. And, uh, yeah, apparently the lawyer of um, Charlo did respond to this, Kent Schaefer, and here's what he has to say. And I quote, it reads, I represent Jamal Charlo, and I just saw your story regarding his case. I want to make it clear that Jamal stole no money from anyone at the club and made no threats towards anyone. When they ran his credit card, it was declined and he then received a fraud alert from Chase Bank asking if he had made the charge. He responded yes, and they told him to have the charge submitted again. The waitress went to run it again and came back saying she could not find the card. Jamal was upset that his card was missing since it was a debit card tied to an account with a substantial amount of money. The waitress had his license sticking out of the portfolio and he took his license back saying that he didn't want her to lose that too. By this time, many club employees were gathering in the hallway, so Jamal's handlers wanted to get him out of the club before trouble started and a club employee walked Jamal out to his car. Hours later, Jamal's assistant, assistant made contact with the club to give them another credit card number, but the club refused to accept it. Over the last few weeks, we have talked to the police, prosecutors, and the club owner, and although the club owner expressed his desire to drop the charges, the officer insisted on filing charges to try to embarrass Jamal. At no time did he rob anyone or take any property other than his own. So that's the story according to Charles' attorney. So um, yeah, I always said that there are two, three sides to the story. His side, her side, and the truth. And um. Yeah, somebody's lying and we don't know who. I'm sure there's some video footage inside the uh, the club. But, you know, here's the thing. The 
owner of the club wants to drop it. But then again, Charlo assaulted the waitress, or at least according to report, the waitress and took the tips from the waitress. So it's up to the waitress to drop the report or to drop the charges, not the owner. If um, you know, if Charlo vandalized the place or stole from the cash registry or what have you, if he did, I'm not saying he did, but if he did, then that's when the owner could drop the charges. But I guess the the uh, waitress wants to move forward with it, I guess. And um, and who knows what really happened? I mean, we don't really know unless you know you were there and you saw everything and heard everything. Um, but yeah, it sucks for Charlo, man, because. Always getting getting in trouble with the law is it's not a good thing. <laughs> you know, it, it's not good. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know about him. The, the attorney saying that the officer insisted to file the charges to try to embarrass Charlo, Jamal. I'm not sure about that. I'm. I mean, the victim. The victim's a waitress. I mean, the victim wanted the press charges. You know. We all know why. We all know why she wants to press charges. Um, if you're wondering why, it, it, it's money, obviously. Um, uh, you know, if they, if they, the waitress has a case to move forward with this, um, you know, they, 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 she can try to find some money out of it. Um, that's the reason why. And I don't know about the the, the credit card. Um, that's weird. How he, he apparently he uses debit card. That's weird. And it got declined, huh? That's weird. Kind of, kind of weird that Charlo's using a debit card. Actually, never use a debit card. If you're listening to me right now, never use a debit card because a debit card, just use a credit card. Just use a credit card because uh, the credit card, if you lose it and somebody uses your credit card, at least you can get your money back. As for a debit card, um, yeah, that they takes it out straight off from your bank account, and uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a good thing to use a debit card. Use your credit card, people. So anyway, I just hope I hope everything goes well for Charlo. Um, you know, I'm a big boxing fan. Uh, you know, as a boxing fan, I'm a fan of Charlo. And uh, I hope uh, you know whatever the story is. Hopefully, the truth will come out. And uh, you know, wish him nothing but the best when he come, when he comes down to court. And if you're wondering why you know they had to arrest him and all that, it's because it's a felony felony um crime that was committed I mean robbery is always a felony uh, I think not if a state has if there's a state out there that has robbery as a misdemeanor damn we would they would be getting a lot more robberies in that state but uh but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens for Charlo in the future so let me know what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you guys think about Charlo's situation let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.